So I build this one. So to recapping, refreshing everybody's mindset again, because your mind, what is all this going on? So look at this, the project, epic, the features, user story. Look at this, they, are, they have a hierarchy. I actually made it as a hierarchy. And that's the title of the task, okay? And the, all the task title, sorry, that's the title and the, all the, who is actually doing all of this. So when you create a task, actually give the specific name in the, in the sprint board, right? And the dev, the, as a dev, the development team members, based on your role, you actually give the title of your project or the, of your task. Once you complete your task, then you update your task, you review your task, and then you close it. So all of this, the user story you have seen, everybody has to work on the sprint board. They have to update their task. They have to review their task. They have to create the documentation. They have to update their documentation. And finally, they have to attach their documentation. And finally, they have to close their task. So you start from here, you end from here, and then in between your work actually moving forward. Any question on it? This is the important part because that's the where the everybody will see your punctuation. Your work is maintain update from the sprint board and that's actually the, the, the whole team knows your work actually moving forward or not. Because all of this code base has been seen, manager doesn't look at it. The business side, they will not come look at it. It's only the, the backend engineer, frontend engineer, quality assurance engineer, they will come and look at it for their testing purposes. But they, everybody looks on the sprint board. That's that they know how the, the project is moving forward or not. And this is the reason, this is the reason where you get stuck. If you do not do the estimation properly, you will have the issues to deliver your work. If you do not update your, the user story properly, you will have a create your backlog. And if you do not do the review properly, your code will not be valid also. If you do not review your, like the front end code, you will, there will be an issues. If you do not do your testing, uh, the test cases, there will be an issues. That's the reason you create the task, make sure in a development team, you always review your work, always with somebody to protect yourself. And the, all this actually the, goes with the user story. All the task goes with the user story. And this is actually, I give the title. So I actually should have give the K here. And this is, I'm stopping so you guys know.